there viewers, Silent Service here, back with another Ultimate Admiral Dreadnought live stream slash video. After my horrible attempt at recreating a Fletcher class earlier, I decided to just go back to the US campaign and put all that behind us. So yeah, we're here in the US campaign, still with our war with um, old um, Stalin here. It is Stalin because they're now the Soviet Union. Well, actually, no, this is during the time, during the time Lenin was still alive. So, so the force of good old Lenin had decided to leave us be, which is good because it then makes me think that they are finally going to agree to the Treaty of Peace that both sides have been so desiring, especially after we kicked their ass. If it's peace that you want, then I'm for war. Peace has finally been signed. Okay, I'm gonna have to take some things that I can make excuses for why they're gone. AKA. I'll take that, 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 that. I'll take your entire navy. If possible. I say that those list of ships are acceptable. And that shows to me that at least one part of the world is wanting peace. Right. What ships are Russian? We can excuse in a time skip that the uh, Russians were able to rebuild their navy. Let's have a look at their battleship here. I think I'm gonna guess it's one of the pre threads. Or did we just steal their only dreadnought? It's it's a pre dread. Yeah. Interesting ship there. It's been it's been uh, sent with the others on a war prize tour, and then whichever whichever one of the ships raised the most money from the war prize tour wins the freedom of your museum ship for the rest of your life.
I'm sure just because it's a battleship, it'll probably get the more most money from the war war bonds tour and will um, succeed in saving itself from the death yards. Uh, did I say death yards? I meant scrap yards. Silly me in my young age, my mind gets messed up. <laughs> Funnily enough, my mind gets messed up for reasons that you don't expect for someone my age. My mind gets messed up because it's the way I was born. Not because I'm doing something that would ruin my life entirely. Because I've already ruined my life entirely by, um... <laughs> Decided to become a musician and uh, getting gear acquisition syndrome. Just, uh, oh god, hopefully you can see through the webcam just all the uh, guitars and basses and stuff over there. If you looked in. Right. Back. But yeah, you can already see I've ruined my life by spending the majority of my life savings on something that hasn't even gained me a return yet. <laughs> oh, poor Nigeria. Yeah, five cent line guns, and then we can build a new class of battle cruiser with uh, probably geared turbines and everyone's favorite Q turret. I'm putting one out for the Q turret, gang. Whoever's in chat that's part of the Q turret, gang, thank you later. here which are under construction that are going to be um, completed in 10 months yeah it should give me time to build up more techs As what I'm wanting to try and complete with my designs henceforth is um, when one comes off the line as in like one class comes off the line then the next class is already coming Well, about to come, as in... <laughs> no, I've just realised the hilariousness of what I just said. No, as in, like, the next class would be, um... Designed and then begin construction. Cooperation, but on a limited scope. No one's in sea control. It's good. Nine more turns there. That's good. Five more turns there. Better five inch guns come in eleven turns. The want to murder another nation has appeared in full force.
we must be freely able to navigate our ships. may have a chance of a better battle cruiser hull. Speaking of cruisers, I may want to build a new armored cruiser class because the Olympias here are a bit old. They've been around since 1900 and they're nearing 10 years of service, which <coughs> <coughs> normally in this time period means, yeah, you scrapped, good day, never see you again. Interesting news, sir. China warns the head of Admiralty, however the hell you pronounce his name, for his excessive naval expenditures. He may soon be replaced if he continues to underperform. Yeah, that's interesting indeed. Next on the agenda. How's our research doing? Well, sir, in the next month, heavy cruisers can be built up to 14,000 tons. And in the next two months, we shall be having the new geared steam turbine that has been worked on by our top scientists. Also, next month, we shall have the advanced twin turrets. In three more months, there'll be the Vickers range clock, and that's all the techs, other than a larger destroyer, that we are aware of. Also, the Fresno class is going to go into refit because we have the naval budget for it. What the s remaining Fresnos in American service, that is. Citadel. I think they're our first ships to use that. Um, you go up to advanced layer one. And welcome to the world of speed and power. Five turns. Okay. Six, seven, twenty-five. It is. This is most likely going to be the uh, last time these Fresnos get upgraded. 
The Prowlers, as they are newer, are going to await that attack. But it's only because they're newer. Of a fresh design. Right. Over the hills and far away For ten long years he will count the days Far from the mountains and blue sea The prisoner's life for him there'll be That's how the Gary Moore song goes, right? Oh, it's Ring Pops that I have played. I thought it was Team Pops. Okay, so we are exporting a New York class to someone to Colombia. Okay, enjoy while you still have it. <laughs> Right, we have geared steam turbines now. Which means I could upgrade the Artero Dominatos class. <laughs> Wait, no, I've got a better way to refer. I've got a better way to refer the class. Um, Hold on a second, the... It's the... <laughs> Class battleships. <laughs> right. Now that joke out of the way for my naming of the battleship. Um... Hopefully I don't get copyright claim for that. Please, Sabaton, I beg of you. I'm a fellow war historian who loves war. Don't do this! Right. Begging to the copyright. <laughs> Lords do not copyright me. Um, next. Okay, so... How far away? Four turns. Okay.
it's a virtuous range clock has been discovered. Three more turns, just some better oh, reinforcement stuff. The dreadnoughts, okay. Do they dread nothing at all? Yeah, yeah, okay. Oh, the French have a Condorcet! I just noted that. Let me guess, Robert Monroe's the Admiral and he's gonna be overconfident and get it charged into torpedoes and blown to smithereens. That's actually been the fate of all three Condorcets he had, actually. All three Condorcets, um, went up against destroyers. Admiral Monroe got a little bit too com put a uh, bit cocky with the dis with the ships and thought, it's the Condorcet! We can just charge in and it'll be fine. Only to then find out that the Condorcet doesn't have as good as a turning rate as one might expect. But also the Condorcet loves to explode a lot. As, yeah, that's a, another thing we found with Condorcet is that all of them ended up exploding from flash fires after they got hit by the torpedoes and then sank. I think it was even the one that he had purposely set with good torpedo protection, the, the Condorcet 3. That had the most impressive explosion. Right. Speaking of France, they provoked us. How dare they? I just realized we're going to need a new destroyer class soon. As the rich class here, they're a little getting old. But I think they can still have some effectiveness, especially if we get triple torpedo tubes. As we only have twin right now. <laughs> if we get triple torpedoes, we can then maybe increase their efficiency, but yeah, we'll get a ba battle cruiser in a turn, so. The new year has our battle cruise, our current battle cruisers enter service and as long as the next class of battle cruisers are coming out on their by the end of their commissioning period we're fine so aka that'll take two turns their commissionings will take two to three turns Dependent on ship, so yeah, the design should be finalized and start construction in two turns. Especially when the construction time will be reduced thanks to construction time reduction stuff. So be reduced by seven point five ter uh, percent. So should theoretically mean that the new class has about the same build time as the old but we're talking theoretically here i'm not talking absolute we're only saying in theory Oh, 
Columbia has been seen as a threat to us now. Okay, then, if they're a threat to us... Goodbye, Washington. The battleship, not the city. For any of you panicking like... Wait, he's getting rid of Washington? No, I'm not. I'm only getting rid of the battle, uh, battleship. Washington, not the state. You know what, seeing as this turn is when all the prowlers become commissioned and we got better 5 inch guns and an auxiliary engine, so bonuses for waiting another turn. We can now do the battle cruisers. And also, I probably want to check where our ASW research is at because well we actually may be taking over northern Colombia but yeah give those a couple of ports but yeah um this time we're building our ships and I've again forgot to do dockyard stuff Twenty one months. Well, then comes the new design. From Design Bureau of Silent. Battle Cruiser 2 at 28.5. Takes about a year at smallest. But we're not going the smallest. So our um, main guns on this thing Hello there our our reality's version of Texas. Oh, how nice it is to meet you. Hydraulic. To flooding. Wait already. 
already. Fine. I'll do a more agreeable battle cruiser layout. Seeing as we also need secondary guns. Something that the game clearly hasn't identified as being needed on my ships. Ah, at least these particular bar bets don't play up when I try and give them a placement. Offset fixer. Offset fixer. <laughs> Stupid. I'm not, not going for Cordite. Sorry, Emperor of Finland, if you're here. But no, no Cordite on my ships. None of my ships will sail with Cordite on board. I'd rather die than have a ship of mine be fit with Cordite. Thirty one, thirty two, thirty two is doable, doable. Yeah, 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 that's everything, that's everything. Oh, no, it's not everything. Uh, please fit. It's the right intervention this class was meant to be. Yes, it's meant to be. Good. Now this thing needs a very important name. So important that it will have consequences far reaching in the Navy. This thing is going to be known as the as the Sonic Club, as the Sonic, the Battle Cruiser Sonic, which can go thirty-two knots, which is for a capital ship, Sonic-like speeds. So acceptable choice of name. Moving on. Moving on, the rich class are getting refit number what the hell number refit is this by this point, I don't remember. What the hell went on there? I don't know, nor do I really want to know. All I want to know is, uh, do I want to know? <laughs> now, a massive complaint from all the previous admirals, well, and navy men who served on these ships, was that they were open aired and so you can't really do much in terms of protecting yourself from weather. I could give them the satisfaction of having that or not. I'm going to go with the or not. The rich class are going to keep, the rich class are going to look outdated on the outside 
but they are modern on the inside. That tower with that torpedo tube. Turns out that the uh, more modern tower is smaller in terms of actual length, and so it can actually fit that second torpedo there. You know what? We're going to give in to the admirals. And then now it won't work. Why? Tell me. Tell me why. Ain't nothing but a. No, 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 no. I'm not going with that one. Seven months. You gotta be kidding me. Might as well make you ultra long range then as well. Well, I'm at the refit seat. Hold on a second. Our destroyers can only go 31 knots. Fuck, I've just made our battle cruisers faster than their escorting ships. Um. Do you think it's time for a new destroyer? <laughs> I think it's time for a new destroyer, chat. There's no one in here to say yes or no, so... Uh, I think it's time we hold off on the new destroyer for as long as possible. <laughs> nah. I'm just waiting for new um, ASW before I do the subs. So, the Sonics are only going to have six members built. Okay, maybe we have room for seven, eight, nine, and ten. Yeah, we have room for all ten. Good. And then the rich class All go out for seven turns. The research and development tell me that in the next month we can build new destroyers to um, take the role of the old rich class. Which is making the British's refit be a bit uh, redundant already, but who cares? No one. There's still, like, our premier class of destroyer that 
has served us very well. The rich even somehow surviving a entire flash fire of her main armament. Well, her, her only armament. F you Germany, we're going to war. It's a war they want, it's a war they get. Uh, okay, and uh, immediately our oh, focus goes to big guns. Cordite 2? Oh, I guess it's better than nothing. Big guns getting Cordite 2, and uh, as he fled free. Simple, really. Now, I'm going to do like I did last time. Sit around and wait. Spain, didn't you la learn from last time? Uh, you know what? Spain, you have something I want. Although, I do want it. We're possibly going to have to do a time skip and it won't be worth anything to us. Fuck, fuck, fuck. I bet 14 inch guns. Um, Boilers, better battleship funnels in two turns. I think now might be the best time to put up, uh, put um, <clears throat> so what's up? Hold on. I think, I think now may be the best time to put the. Class battleships into refit. That joke is going to get old very quickly. <laughs> but I just have to do it. What else can you do when you have a ship that is named after a great song? But also you have access to said great song on speed dial, pretty much. Well, it's not exactly speed dial, but... Close enough. Okay, so the 12 inch is still Mark 3's. But there are different funnels available now. Am I going to use said different funnels? Possibly not, but... Okay, can we go up to 25 knots? Yes, the Artero Dominatos can serve us another good long while. Now, to add to that, we need a destroyer that can go at a speed where it can actually act as an escort to my 
that's what Cruz is, because right now our battle cruise can go a lot faster. 33 knots is your design speed. I don't care if it's a problem for you guys, but it's 33 knots or you die. Well, it's not you that'll be doing the dying, it would be the battle cruisers, but still. 33 knots, you're dead. Or you're dead. Can they all super foot? Woohoo! actually done something worthwhile for once. I better tell everyone of my achievement. <laughs> right. All joking aside, one very large tunnel please. There, good sir. Oh yeah, we're going to have complaints all across the board that these things are unseaworthy and that they're going to have loads of um, handling issues and stuff and... Look, we're the... Look, we're the American Navy, we don't care. If you want someone who cares so much about ship details, Go to somewhere like um, the Japanese Navy, where they where they test out bits of steel, send battleship what well, equivalent shells through them, as in like 16 inch shells through armor plating. I think it was something like that for the um, Yamato's um, construction. A reduced number of those torpedoes, please, good sir. Uh, depth charges and mine sweeping. Uh, maybe advanced la lane as well. Conning tower, what, what bloody conning tower? man got to do to try and get 33 knots out of his destroyer. Force the boilers. Reduce the gun. Caliber. Probably a better idea. May help with our rolling pitch issue. Lower caliber worked. There, now we just add it back in the bar. Now we just add back in the bar bets that were apparently being errored and. Fuck. Clean slate. Clean slate. Get the fucking thing to fucking work. Let's get this fucking thing to work.
secondary tower, rear tower. Good. Another set of barbettes. And a forced semi oil. Get on my driven engine. Well done, then, lad. You've got yourself a good efficiency setup. And I think we could actually fit in the torpedo while still doing. Congrats, everyone. We've got a good gunboat. Next. Base fuse semi ballistic. Reduced that. That. Good. Good enough. Better than Commodore, good enough. That is job. Fifi, welcome to the fleet. So, we can finish refitting the... class and yeah hello there Robbo hear an echo in the night Morsel's firing rains the scene scars and fills the ones are green a surprise from a mile which was for uh, ages my favourite Sabaton song only recently got replaced by Artero Dominatos right First off, um, how much dock space do we have? I say we have enough to put Artero and Maryland in. Artero and Maryland. Artero, Maryland, and New Mexico go in. Okay, New Mexico cannot be refit at the same time as the main Artero class. Okay, um, New Mexico, you were, uh, don't take this really hard, but you've been selected for not really having any work be done to you for right now. <laughs> How are you doing, Robbo, by the way? Hopefully a lot better than me. I had to take an earlier bus home today and I had to see an unpleasant sight of um, a road accident with ambulances and stuff. Not a good sight. Not a good sight at all. Anyway. Anyway, the um, two Artero Dominatoses that were refit for this turn has been refit. New Mexico and then South Dakota. Right, the original design goes goodbye. Yeah, and South Dakota go into refit. Is hoping everyone involved in that accident's okay because none of the injuries I saw looked fatal, so hopefully everyone should be fine. As in, they're still alive, fine. But moving on from that grim topic. Ah, uh, doesn't matter. 
that you like? Our economy is booming while well, we're in the middle of a war, so... Russia, do you want to try again against us? Sure, you can. Uh, Germany and Japan have gone to war. I'm glad we got rid of the common alliance thing. That was a massive bloody pain. Okay, so... I think I'm going to start building 10 Fifi's. And I can actually put a whole bunch of the Arteros. It's probably only going to be two again. Yeah, only two again. And then two more of the Fifi class. That is pretty much my dock yard's capacity down. Ah! Here come the uh, Kaiser League Marina. Is that from Firestorm? I'm guessing it's not Firestorm. Ah. The Red Cross. Ah, oh, just... Uh, we don't even have prisoners yet. Ah, oh, fine. Good, Germany and Italy, and there's the better 14 inch, so, um... The Sonic class are gonna have to go into refit as soon as they're completed. But, okay. Oh. I was saying Firestorm for the song, but... Well, I had an original plan of, um, like, last... The last war we had with the Soviets of, um... Waiting in port till their ships get close and then ambushing them with a force that outnumbered them. Yeah, this time it's not gonna work out as well. The Germans are sending everything they've got. Oh, I hope there is a I hope there is a ship called Berlin here and that the Artero Dominatos is attacking it. <laughs> because then there'd actually be an actual excuse to the Artero Dominatos Berlin is burning thing. Because we'd be attacking a ship called Berlin and it'll be burning. <laughs> right. Yep, time to put the next two Arteros, Maine and Florida, into refit. Actually, I think we could fit a third Artero, the Ohio. Yep, we're all good there. Here's the thing. I think Germany may have dreadnoughts, whereas the Russians, when we were at war with them, didn't. Poor Lenin and not having his dreadnoughts. Yes, this is the time period, Robo, where Lenin would be in charge if the Soviets had taken over in this time period. Or it may be some sort of coalition between Lenin, Trotsky and Stalin. That is a large force amassing off New York. Um, Yeah, IRL it would be the Tsar still in power, but um, the Soviet Union has taken over a whole 
decade at least early, as they were in power since 1904. So, yeah, over a decade early. Poor, poor Tsar Nicholas. This is a reality where the Russo-Japanese War led to the Red Uprising. No, it was the Russo-Japanese, the Russo-Japanese War of this reality that kick-started Russia becoming um, communist. Right. Um, okay. So, our research priorities are set, and I believe we have only a couple more Artero, three more Artero Dominatoses to refit, which we can fit in our dry docks. I think we could also fit an extra Fifi in there, with the same tonnage. We could fit an extra two Fifis in there for the tonnage remaining. Okay, that's the entire Artero Dominatus class updated for war. We stand at the gates of Berlin, two and a half million men, <laughs> with 6,000 tanks in our ranks, using us battering rams. Give some to the social programs as well. Let's sort of unrest, unrest out. Um, hmm. Do I amass a fleet? That could be an idea. How far away are the Sonics? They're 13 turns. Okay, the entire navy is going on sea control. And then we're going to prepare to amass a fleet. Sink the Germans! We are going to sink the Germans, okay? Admiral Robo, your fleet is being set up. Now... What ship do you want as your flagship? I'll give you um, an overview of all our capital ships if I go up here. So we have New York, Wyoming, Georgia, Wisconsin, Fallout BB-76, Louisiana, Mississippi, Massachusetts, Arizona, Michigan, Artero Dominatos, Maryland, New Mexico, South Dakota, Delaware, Alabama, Maine, Florida, Ohio, uh, whatever the hell this thing is called. Um, uh, Kentucky, South Carolina, Franklin, Columbus, Philadelphia, Saratoga, Boston, Guam, Connecticut, America, Independence, Con and uh, Constellation. Which one do you want as your flagship? Also, it must be on the Eastern American coast, which you have the entire battle cruiser fleet bar one. that you could choose as your flagship. So pretty much anywhere... You could pretty much choose any of the capital ships. What do you want? The most modern? The most known? Or, um... Just the oldest? And we'll send that fleet out to sink the German raiders. Kentucky. That is a... Artero Dominatos. Although it's in San Francisco, so you're going to have to go across the entire... <laughs> the entire South American continent <laughs> to get over here. <laughs> also, South Carolina is off the list. That's in the Philippines. <laughs> 
yeah, we sent you on the Transcontinental Railroad, but we couldn't send your flagship, so you're going to have to pick a different ship to put your flag on. Yes, we even got ships that you have never seen before. The Battle Cruisers. Florida. That would be another Artero Dominatos. That is also in San Francisco. Your backup flagship is also in San Francisco. <laughs> oh, God. You're not doing a good job. Yeah. <laughs> now we promoted you to Admiral. <laughs> okay, the Artero. Good choice. <laughs> Good choice. Um, I just need to find which port it's in again. Um, Artero Dominatos is in New York. You got to see the Big Apple briefly before you got shipped out with your fleet. Which are Pterodominatus is your flagship, and you are meeting up with a whole bunch of battle cruisers. Whole bunch of battle cruisers. And we are also going to be bringing. Oh, wait, we can't bring destroyers, they're still in re. Well, we can bring destroyers, they're out of refit. Okay, the fleet is meeting up. With the battleship Artero Dominatos as the flagship. <laughs> yes, you went from the west coast to the east coast, back to the west coast, thinking that your ship you chose was there, and then you came back and then got the Artero Dominatos. That's why it took a month for the entire fleet to get ready, not because of all like the logistical reasons, but because Ad Admiral Robbo accidentally got himself confused with where each individual ship was. <laughs> it could be worse. You could have been like Makarov. You could have gone across the Trans-Siberian Rail Railroad and then get decapitated on your, um... <laughs> ah, Britain and Germany have gone to war. And Britain and the Soviet... Okay, Admiral Robbo. Unfortunately, you didn't get to meet up with the destroyer group that was supposed to come with you. Instead, you just got Artero Dominatos, Alabama, Louisiana, which is... Louisiana and New York, which are older ships, and two new and untested ships that uh, may or may not be uh, horrible. Good luck! <laughs> we'll try to save you if our Terra Dominatos burns like Berlin. <laughs> well, you've got old out. Old but not outdated, you've got younger but still old, you've got new and untested, and you've got, in case of the lighter ships, really old and how the hell are they still in the navy old on that front. Especially the destroyers, it's a, how the hell are they still in the navy. seems that this is a normal loading screen issue which requires me restarting the game. Yes, it's a usual occurrence, Robbo. This happens. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to restart the game. I apologise. Your death has um, 
your potential death has been postponed in game. Yeah, exit game, please. Don't worry, Admiral Monroe is in charge of the is that, is in charge of the fleet that was supposed to meet up with you, but didn't meet up with you in time. And you're not getting any backup from. <laughs> And unfortunately for you, my flagship is still under construction for 12 months. I think it is 12 or 13, 12 or 11 months. My flagship, the USS Sonic, is still under construction. I have to deal with having my flagship be the Fallout BB-76. And I'm the head of the goddamn Navy. And I'm stuck on the one of the oldest capital ships we have. Especially considering the fact I had my original flagship stolen from a certain Admiral Robbo. But, um, yeah. I allowed him that because uh, I was the one who ordered him to take a fleet out from the West Coast. Uh, East Coast, I mean. From the East Coast, so... Yeah. It's kind of my fault that my flagship's now being done. Yeah! Not to worry. Next time, we'll go for Japan so then your flagship can... Uh... Well, no. By your personal request, your flagship, with um, your loyal executive officer, is going to make the trip to New York. He's going to make the trip to New York. Or more likely Puerto Rico. <laughs> right. Anyway, here we go. Anyway, here we go, um... By the way, Robbo, are you one of those admirals that use the conning tower? Because if... Good, because uh, the conning tower is, is barely anything. Oh, we're already opening fire and um... The Germans have dreadnoughts. The Germans have dreadnoughts and they look decent. Right. Ah! It's good enough that Artero Dominatos is already here. So, what are your orders, Admiral? You're ordering the main battle fleet. I'm ordering the battle cruisers. So battle cruisers are to be at normal distance, line abreast formation, and to sail at full twenty six knots ahead. Saratoga and Philadelphia are range to target range the closest targets about 14.3 kilometers sir and our rangefinder crews have already thought it's a great idea to open fire closing the range sir so we are limited to 21 knots because of the New York and the Louisiana.
So, one of our shells has appeared to ricochet off the target we weren't aiming for. Ooh, that was, um... Roger, Roger! Main guns to save. The destroyer's main guns are not going to stay on save because it's a destroyer. The range is going to be close enough that it's going to get hits in by the time aggressive fire opens up, so... Sir, do you want the ships in line abreast formation or do you want to keep the ships in line ahead? Um, New York and Louisiana are um, falling out of line. Right, the Battle Cruiser Squadron under command of Vice Admiral Emperor Finland is overtaking your force. That is a um, force to slow down because of um, the outdated guys here. Don't worry, they'll get their refits. They'll get their refits that should increase their speed. Just, um, you're going to have to ask the head of the Navy Admiral Silent for that, not Bosun Silent. Yes, Admiral Emperor of Finland does have a battle, two battle cruisers. Uh, it's not as bad as um, it's not as bad as Commodore. As um, the Commodore. Oh God, which what other one of my viewers could I claim as a Commodore Renegade Marine here? Yeah, it's not as bad as Com Commodore Renegade Marine here with um, his destroyer that can't even do anything right now. Roger taking over. Putting me and me both in control, this is gonna go horribly. Okay. Port over. Hard to port. Philadelphia, Saratoga, and William Jones are still going to charge and attack. Okay, you focus with all your fire on that, the Brandenburg. Okay, Commodore Renegade. Marine is um, having his his ship be um, surprisingly not damaged and is dealing damage. Okay, Commodore Renegade, it's your time to leave this battle. Meanwhile, Rear Admiral. Emperor Finland is still charging with his battle cruisers. I'm gonna say he got orders from Admiral um, from Admiral Robbo that to turn. Okay, you guys are to focus on the crew for crew first and. Turn to starboard and go back to a line ahead formation. You guys to line ahead. The Artero Dominatos has taken a hit to B turret. That was close to hitting the main tower. Um,
Yeah, you guys are destined to go for Brandenburg. You're supposed to be going for Brandenburg. Oh, there it is. He goes. Um, seeing as how close the range is to Brandenburg, you don't need to bother with um, trying to save your shots. Right, Saratoga, Saratoga. New orders, hard to starboard, hard to starboard. Oh. The game's texture glitched the hull design. Typical UAD. Hipper is here. Yeah, I think our mains should focus on Admiral Hipper. The secondaries focus over there. Okay. You're focusing on Groove of Crew first with your main turrets. Everything else is going. Oh. Oh no! Rear. Rear Admiral Finland's been injured. He's been injured when the bridge of his ship got damaged. Poor Rear Admiral Finland. It's now by this point. The head of the battle cruiser fleet goes by default to the highest ranking officer left, which is the commanding officer aboard Saratoga. As Rear Admiral Finland has been um, too badly injured to carry on his command. Freaking hell. Artero's taking a beating right now. And not just the Artero, um, the others are as well, but Artero's getting a whole lot of it. Go for Cure first is gone. You guys go for the Odin with your mains. The secondaries focus on him. You guys go there and... Ooh, B turrets taking a... B and... B and X turret have um, taken hits the main tower has that's Admiral Robbo injured could have been worse he could have been turned to jelly in the conning tower like has happened to the steering officer but um yeah I'm <laughs> I'm thinking now that Robbo has wished that he had stuck with Kentucky and had to sail halfway across the world instead of getting injured by a 9 inch shell. A 9.3 inch shell. Well he's lucky he survived being hit by a 9 inch shell. Well, 9.3 inch shell, but 
still not a pleasant experience. Oh. The main tower has had to be evacuated on the Artero. yourself. William Jones, still go at your maximum speed. Alabama is by itself now. The Artero's got to get out of here. The Artero has had a fire control ruined. Has had a fire control ruined and Admiral Robbo very badly injured. But not very badly, but injured. Enough that he has to... He's injured enough that he has to give up the command of the squadron. Well, he already gave up the command because he went off to deal with an important wireless message. So he wasn't even in charge anyway, and then now he can't be put back in charge of the rest of this battle because he's been injured. I say, we have a habit in this campaign of having decisive victories by just one battle. Mm. Yeah, we're... We're sending Admiral Robbo to a hospital in the in Puerto Rico, and we're going to send the Kentucky over to meet him. Right, oh, yeah, we could send the uh, USS Kentucky over to meet the Admiral who was supposed to be in charge of it, while said Admiral is recovering from injuries. <laughs> okay, Germany. We'll agree. Oh, yeah, unfortunately, you got injured on the bridge. You got injured on the bridge of the Artero Dominatos, and you have been dropped off in a hospital in Puerto Rico. Oh, yeah, and uh, update on your supposed backup squadron of Admiral Monroe. They had a massive defeat where the battle cruiser Connecticut was sunk only for a few like cruise and destroyers and torpedo bit being sunk. But yeah, you have been injured and you have been uh, dropped off in Puerto Rico where the Kentucky is going to meet you. Yes, you'll be reunited with your command, don't worry. Yeah, at least you go back to the Kentucky. Although, um, the Kentucky will take, um... How many times was it to get there? The Kentucky will take nine months to get there, but... You'll be reunited with her in nine months. In the meanwhile, you'll be glad to know that... Once you've recovered from your injuries... In February, you will be given the fruit command of the of the twenty second light cruiser division from the USS Milwaukee. Which then that division will be increased in size obviously once the Kentucky gets there and you can take it back as your flagship. And we could always just quickly send you out now on um, coastal bombardment missions to support our invasion of Northern Colombia. That's an idea. 
give me at least something to do. Oh yeah, Rear Admiral Finland got fatal injuries after a 9.3 inch shell went right through the conning tower of his ship. And Commodore Renegade has been promoted because of his actions. Well, he was promoted because of his actions in that previous battle, which led to the sinking of a battleship. Okay, Arizona is, um... Yeah, it's just got damaged a bit. Coincidence-free rangefinders are now a thing. They pushed back our invasion? Never mind, you're not being sent on coastal bombardment duties, um... How do you like to go, um, lead the raid in the Canary Islands? Or do you want to, uh, oh wait, no, knowing you, you'd probably want to wait for Kentucky to arrive to the theatre. Not to worry, I've given Kentucky a slight shortcut by that we're not going off of Panama, we are just, uh, sticking well far away from the coast of Panama. Let's cut two months off Kentucky's journey time. You'll be reunited with your flagship sooner than you think, Admiral. Considering the fact that I have taken taken back my flagship of Atero Dominatos, no, I don't want the destroyer attack. Thank you. Right. But yeah, Altero Dominatos isn't actually going to be my flagship for much longer. Yeah, sc scrap these two because they're older ones anyway. As... I, as in, oh god, why is it 15 months now? Oh, it's the repairs. Yeah, it's the repairs. Arizona, you have served horribly. You are being scrapped. Yeah, you almost died on the conning tower of it. Because you went into the conning tower to go and read your important wireless message and then the conning tower got hit. And not to worry, I could always uh, scrap the Guam to quicken up Artero's repairs. But yeah. But yeah, you've your punishment for damages, and this was also selected by the court-martial, is that the Milwaukee will be a flagship until the Kentucky arrives, and the Kentucky's crew have been ordered to ruin the captain's cabin, but don't, not to worry, they left all your personal belongings in San Francisco, so although, yes, your captain's cabin is ruined, none of your None of your personal items you had in there would be ruined. But like all the Admiralty supplied furniture and stuff would be all ruined and stuff. And that's coming out of your paycheck as well. <laughs> coming out of your naval paycheck. Your non-existent naval paycheck. <laughs> Not to worry, the Kentucky is... Uh... The Germans still haven't decided to, um... Accept the fact that they have lost. It's the end, the war has been lost, keeping them safe till the river's been crossed. Right. Six more turns in Kentucky to be there. Right. 
The battle we go with ships I don't, well, one ship at least, I don't want to use because it's an old light cruiser that is going to possibly be scrapped by the end of this war anyway, so... Yeah. Full speed charge. Oh yeah, these things did receive a fresh new refit that um, at least made them somewhat decent at fleet speeds now, and uh, we obviously have the good old rich class destroyer here in the form of the Frankford. USS Frankford. DD, I don't remember the designation. DD something. Pensacola I know is in the CL single digits. you gave the Artero Dominatos less damage I don't know what that's got to do with any of this but oh Pensacola Pe I get it I get it now but yeah um at least it didn't do as bad as damage to Artero Dominatos as, Admir as uh, the late Rear Admiral Finland did to Saratoga, so... I could say there are worse fates for angering the head of the navy with damaging a ship of theirs. Oh, and you're not as bad as Monroe with the, um... What's the name, uh with the Guam, with that having to be scrapped because of its damage. Rudder hard over, oh for fuck's sake. Um. Okay, if there was an option to scuttle a ship right now, I think Frankfurt would take the top of the list. No, actually. No. No, it's not fives as your flag, as your flag operator, your signalman. No. No. It's much worse. I've forgiven him enough that I'm using him as a part of your punishment. He is now your second in command. He's now your second in command. Um, didn't you forget, Robbo, that on your personal request, the, um, Kentucky had her conning tower removed? It almost, almost killed the imaginary admiral. You, yeah, I think that'd be a good placement for him. Frankfurt is um, again proving that the rich class destroyers can survive a whole bunch of punishment. Oh, look at the damage to the forward torpedo tube. At least the torpedoes were 
off the ship. Right. Don't worry, don't worry Robbo. Commodore 5s should be able to do a really good job. And if need be, I could put him onto Rear Admiral Renegade. Or you know what you could do, Robbo? You could put him on one of the light cruisers you have under your division. Yeah, you could always just get fives out of your hair by sending him. <laughs> yeah, could do. But yeah, you could get fives out of your hair by just sending, sending him off to, I don't know, the light cruiser Milwaukee. Uh, after you get Kentucky back, and um, he will never ever be a born in your side again. Except for that, the Milwaukee will become the Kamchatka of the US Navy. <coughs> and it already slightly is. Friends closer, your enemies closer. <laughs> right. Oh yeah, Germany has still got a whole bunch of um, ships coming towards the American mainland. Okay, how long is it till the Sonics are out? This one's going to be an easy play. Oh, I can't set it to be fitted in Port, uh, Puerto Rico, so it's going to have to be Philadelphia and Naval Yard. And not to worry, Robo. There is a battle cruiser especially coming for you in about 10 months' time which will be given to you and we will relieve your command from Kentucky. And that battle cruiser is, as of current, our fastest capital ship at 32 knots and has our most powerful 14 inch guns. And it even has a Q turret. Much better improvement of Kentucky. Although the only unfortunate thing is that um, we couldn't remove the conning tower from the design. Although the conning tower is a bit more protection wise of a bridge than an actual conning tower, so. Positives are negative. Are they trying to go after our oil? Michigan, Delaware, and Wyoming are being sent out. Uh, nine months. 
point until the Phantom Cruises come around. Oh yeah, how's being on a ship that doesn't have the amenities you're used to having on a battleship? Oh, um, Robbo, I've actually got a bit of a funny story that I heard last night while I was watching the... Well, what I say last night, it started at midnight for us, so it's it would have been this morning. The, um... Live stream that was done for USS Kids 80th anniversary. I, um, one of the things they mentioned there was the story of how um, USS Kid got an ice cream machine on board. And then found that the ice cream machine was useless because although they had the machine, they didn't actually have the um, appropriate ice cream mix and so for pretty much most of her early career the kid had an ice cream machine but didn't have the mix. I think it was by like Korean or an ice cream mix was given to her but I don't know. Here's the um, story about it as well, that they um, had got a welder who was looking for some extra pay and they had then cut out a plate at the hull where the ice cream machine was then put in and then welded it back painted it back up and then sanded down the welds and the commander officer knew it happened because <laughs> although the ship was brand new some of the paint had already faded because it had been afloat for a few months already and so so yeah the commanding officer saw the suspiciously fresh uh, paint and just laughed and then presumably told his crew that they didn't have the um, ice cream mix. Oh, typical Robbo. You know, you know I was sending you the Kentucky, I could have sent you back on the Transcontinental Railroad, we're at war with China now. I could have sent you on the Transcontinental Railroad and then you could have sailed down to the Philippines. Ah, uh, too late, you're stuck in the Caribbean now. <laughs> Well, you could always request a transfer to a different ship if you want to fight in the Pacific. But then there is only one ship that is open for transfer and that is the Battlecruiser Franklin. In other news though, your um, normal flagship, the Kentucky, is um, only now two turns away if you um, want to wait for Kentucky. Or making any decision on whether or not you want to go back to the Pacific. Oh god, it'll be a long trip if you do.
Okay, we're going to become allies with France. Soviets hate us even more. Agree to a peace with Germany because we are winning. Ooh, that was a. Uh, oh, the poor Frankfurt from last time is gone. At least Frankfurt had some survivors. Not to worry, there are more Fifi class on the way, so. Should hopefully account for the loss of um, stuff, but. Well, there is the upgrades in two turns. Hull strengthening is still something that needs to be two couple of turns. It's gonna take a couple of turns to give these tags we want. And there's nothing that a thousand in-game money or more could ever do to speed up the process. No, 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 I'm ruining, I'm ruining Africa. Ah, huh, finally, peace with the Germans. Bismarck Archipelago. Thank you. Yes, please. Uh, nah. Oh, victory, although we did lose a destroyer. It's the purge of the rich class. <laughs> We're purging the rich. <laughs> China and Germany have broken their alliance. Germans can now send their ships home. Oh, new dreadnoughts in three turns. Which will coincide with the Sonics coming out. And then Admiral Robbo will be moved over to one of the new Sonic class. Hopefully that's clickbait. Likely is. We've got massive budget. I can afford any sort of repairs or stuff. I think I could even right now afford to. Um... What was that, Dad? Okay. The Netherlands has 
regain control of the Dutch until you see where all the hell that place is. Um, it's not in Dutch in the beginning, but it's. Um, one of the rich class. We probably already know where this is going. Oh no, we didn't lose another one. But yeah, two more turns. Two more turns and we have new battle cruisers built but not commissioned. And they may probably never see combat because of the game would most likely have a base or update that will wipe the save. But hopefully that would be the base or update of the new house. So then it would make the save wipe worth it. Center parties one again. Okay. The new dreadnought hull. Which I'm going to wait till next time to do because of the potential that the save could be wiped and it would just make the design period worthless to me. Right viewers, this is going to be the end of the stream. I hope you all enjoyed and I hope to see you all again in other times. If on YouTube and you have reached this point, please do like, subscribe, and share amongst your friends that like naval warfare games because that would really help out the channel and also if you're interested do go have a look at the music side as well because that's also a thing that my channel does so yeah right enough stalling silent service going silent